hello friends welcome to easy homemade projects in today's video i will show you how to make temperature controlled pwm fan controller with real time temperature and rpm display Here I designed a circuit diagram for our project. It is very easy and simple. After designing the circuit diagram, I converted it into a good looking PCB design. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, where you can order your 5 pieces of up to 8 layer PCBs just in $2. And now they can produce more complex PCBs up to 20 layers. One of the good addition in their services is flexible PCBs. So now you can order 5 pieces of flexible PCBs just in $15. Nowadays you can get free assembly services for PCBs up to 6 layers. To avail this limited time offer, click the link below. Now at JLC PCB you can also get a wide range of industrial mechanical components at very reasonable prices. And for more discount and coupons, simply log in to jlcpcb.com. Ok guys, so after placing an order at JLC PCB, here we got our PCBs within a few days. As you can see the build quality of PCBs is perfect as always. Now we will collect all the components to complete this PCB. Ok guys so here are all the components that are required to complete our project. First of all here you can see this is a 0.96 inches OLED display. Here is a 12 volt PWM fan. With this connector. Here is a 10 kilo ohm thermistor. A 100 microfarad capacitor. Arduino Nano, a 5 mm LED and uh, here is a 5 volt voltage regulator with this heat sink, a DC power jack, some male and female heater pins and uh, here is a 1 kilo ohm resistor and two 10 kilo ohm resistors. Now I am going to solder all these components to our new PCB. Ok guys, so component soldering is done. And now we will burn the Arduino code. Here is the Arduino code for our project. The code is very simple and easy. Here are some libraries that you must install to make this project work. For more information about the code and the download link you can get in the video description. Now we will connect the Arduino and all the remaining components to our PCB.
okay guys so finally our project is complete and uh, now it is ready for testing here I am going to connect it with a 12 volt DC power supply source as you can see now at room temperature it is running at 1800 rpms now I will increase the temperature near this thermistor with the help of soldering iron and then you will notice the increase in temperature and the rpm You can also notice by the sound of fan. So guys that's it for today's video, all necessary information about this project you can find in the video description. I hope you will like my this project, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.